Hi guys, it's Annalisa and welcome back to my channel. So if you guys want to see how to get this cute, quick hairstyle, then stay tuned. Okay guys, so um, I didn't mention in my intro that I already did this hairstyle yesterday and I just was thinking about it and I was like, this is like quick and like an easy kind of like, and it's cute too, like, and you can wear it for like multiple days and this is what I like about like this hairstyle. So I'm going to show you guys this really quick hairstyle. So I'm going to start off with this water bottle um, or this water sprayer. I got it off of Amazon for like seven or eight bucks. So I'm just going to start off with it. I should be wearing a towel, but I'm not. Oh, I sprayed my ear. Okay. Okay. So I already have my part and stuff, so I don't really need to like part it. But if you were to do this hairstyle, you want to part a section like over here. Wait, no. Do I still have the part? Kind of. Hold on. You would want to part it like over here and then you would want to part it and then you're going to like put it up, sorry, you're going to put it up. I just like to bantu knot, bat, I don't really know how to say it, but like just put it in a bantu knot, there you go. And you would want to part it, my phone keeps turning, I'm using this as a mirror, <laughs> I don't have a mirror, I need to buy one. So then I would part it over here as well. And I already, like I said, I already parted it already, so I don't really need to. Sorry. So then at this moment, like when, I mean at this time, when um, I already put it like into Bantu knots, or try to, whatever, I like to put in my um, Mega Growth Break and Free Daily Leave-In conditioner or daily leave-in strengthener I like this product so much because it acts like a um, detangler and it's just really like I don't know I like it and my camera's about to die so that's great I don't know where the other battery's at so I'm gonna put this in my hair and then I'm gonna like charge my camera <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't die. Ow. And if it's not detangling your hair, I would just add some more water to it because your hair is probably not as wet as it should be. So, yeah. So then after this, I just like to like brush it out. Let me actually charge my camera real fast, okay? So. Okay, guys, like I said, my camera died. Um, so, I had to, like, um, use the other battery. So, I was just putting product in my hair. And then I was telling you guys that after I put product in my hair, I usually like to, like, brush it out. And legit, my camera's not, I mean, my phone's not doing a great job as my mirror. So I'm just kind of like, kind of using the viewfinder, but not really. And just kind of just using muscle memory at this point. My back always gets so dry. So I just like to add more water to the back. Okay, like I said, this is kind of like an easy hairstyle. Just depending on how much time you're going to put on it. Um... If you're like me, you like it like kind of perfect, so you're probably going to spend a little bit more time on it. But if you're not, you're just going to like hurry up and do it. And this is like quick and easy. And you can like wear it for like a couple of days. So, yeah. Okay, so once I um, detangle it and everything, I put it back into like a... What is that called? Like a, a ponytail. <laughs> 
Um, where is my scrunchies at? Oh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just bought these Revlon um, Stronger Hold Extra Large Elastics. Um, I like these so much. They're good for when you have box braids, and there's all, they're also good like when you just have curly hair. Because they're not like, they're big, so it's like, I don't know how to explain it. They're bigger than the like little small ones, and the little small ones always get like, um take out like my hair and not that these don't they do but they always they're just smaller so it's just like no so right now I'm going to be taking I usually start on this side and I'm gonna be taking my water again and just running my fingers through this is pretty much detangled so I don't really need to like um, really need to put product in it so I'm gonna brush all the like rough edges I mean all the like knots and stuff out and then I'm going to start twisting and when I twist I just like twist and grab twist and grab so and with this section, I don't know about everybody else's hair, but with this side, my hair is always longer on this side. So I usually, I usually just, um, I usually just pull it back and like twist it behind my um, ponytail and then like just bobby pin it up. Oh, no. oh my gosh it's not whatever then I do this side and this side is a little bit more harder like not harder to do but like it's just like stubborn and I usually do this like I don't even know it's just more stubborn to me and like I said like this is so easy to run my fingers through so I don't really need to put product in because I did it this already yesterday and like this style all I can do like I can do this today and like sleep on it tomorrow I mean tonight and like wear it tomorrow and it'll be fine like all I need to do is like really like just do my edges that's all I really need to do so um I start in the back over here for this style. I mean, this uh, side. I start in the back and then work my way to the front. And then, like, I twist it over here. Oh no. And, like, sometimes I use my fingers as combs. Like, if you guys can see, like, what I'm doing. I don't know if you guys can, but I usually, like, just, like, take my fingers and, like, go like that and then twist. It just like helps like get all the knots out as you're going and then I just coil at the end oh my gosh the products going everywhere and that's why I don't like about you don't want to over product it if that makes sense so this side I don't wrap it around and you could tell I have product all over my <laughs> arm and I usually take two bobby pins like the other side and just put them in One will like do okay, but it doesn't hold like during the day when your hair dries up, it doesn't hold as much. But two is fine, two is great, perfect. Okay, so then you end up with all this hair on your hands. And I'm gonna tell you guys like, after I got the box braids done and I took them out, I wish my head, my, uh, my hair was shedding so much. Like in the shower, it was so bad. I need like a towel or something. Okay, it's whatever. Whatever. 
And then, so now I'm going to use my uh, Cream of Nature Edge Control Perfect Edges. I'm going to open it. And how I do my edges, um, I was taught by the girl that did my box braids, or the lady that did my box braids. So I'm actually going to actually, uh, why am I repeating myself? I'm actually going to just lay some of my flyaways in the back down. Just because I don't think that looks clean to me. Okay. Okay, so now I, I have this thing, but I hardly ever use it. But I was taught um, that you can use like one of these to lay your edges down. So you just take some edges. I'm going to show you guys both ways. You're going to take... I'm going to zoom this in just a little bit because it's not like... Okay. You're going to take it... I need my camera. So you're going to take your edge control and just like lay it on your edges. And then you're going to take this comb and you're going to like comb it. See, I'm not the perfect. I don't like, I'm not into all like the edges and stuff. So this like really helps. And I just took out. This really helps. I don't know. It's just me. Because I'm not big on edges and stuff. And then I bring it down. Actually, like when I used to do my edges, I would just do one big swoop. And that's probably what I'm going to do today. Because when I get frustrated, I just do one big swoop i'm not frustrated but i just like it's so much more convenient and you guys know how i told you guys like i usually like redo the twist this is where like i redo them because like it just messes up the twist you see like but you guys can't really tell on camera so that's how i use both of them i don't usually use the back of the like this comb so I don't really use that. So at this time, like, I usually just redo this twist just because I don't usually end up liking it. And this is, like, every time I do this hairstyle. It's not just, like, for this video. I do this every time. So I'm going to zoom it back out a little bit. So I usually just try to do it tighter the second time. Or more tight than I try to do it the first time. And this is, like, no mirror. I'm loving using my camera. I need my phone. Okay. I like to give myself a little bit of like, because if I pull it back too tight, it doesn't look right. So I like to give myself a little bit of breathing room, if that makes sense. okay so that is oh I have to do the other side <laughs> sorry but I don't really do much to this side just because like there's really nothing to do and I just do it the same way I'm just gonna swoop it like in one swoop it's hard doing your hair with the phone in your hand don't okay i used to do this all the time i used to like dip my um uh, brush in my like i used to dip my brush i used to dip my brush <laughs> in like the edge control and then use it but it's smarter just to use your finger and like put it on your edges and then like lay it down with the brush so this brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys want to see more curly hair videos then definitely like comment down below what you guys want to see and um if you guys haven't already please go uh enter my giveaway it's ending tom not tomorrow 
when is it ending? Yeah, tomorrow, because I'll post this video tomorrow. Um, it's ending on April 1st at noon. So after noon, I'm not going to let anybody else join. Um, so definitely tell your family and friends to join if they want to. And if they want a backpack or whatever, just tell them. And then, what else was I going to say? That was it, right? So yeah, if you guys haven't already, um, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment down below what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.